Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today for our second in our series of Colour Storygy, focusing on our July colour palette, Coral Blush. So our second, second in our series is actually funeral design, so today we're going to create a loose cushion. So the cushion is actually symbolic of comfort, so comfort for your loved one's last resting place. The coral blush colour palette combined with grey encourages emotional healing. So this tribute would be the perfect design to create for someone who was gentle, nurturing and receptive. Perhaps someone that was really close to your heart. So the flowers that we're using are um, Lysianthus double Alyssa light pink. So we've got that beautiful fluffy kind of feel to it, that crinkled edge. So perfect for a texture uh, if you want to increase the texture within your design. Then we've got the carnation. This one's Doncel. And again, that fluffy kind of texture. The rose that we're using is Sweet Avalanche. Very soft and subtle tones. And then we have one of my favourites. That's a Stilby. This one's Europa. So almost feather-like, really soft and frondy. Then to reinforce that silver tone within the coral blush colour palette, we're going to use some eucalyptus cinerea. And again, to highlight that silver, I'm going to do a ribbon edging with the silver polypropylene ribbon. And then my tools that I'm using today are obviously my scissors, <laughs> some steel pins, the polypropylene ribbon that I've mentioned, and my stapler. And obviously, by last but by no means least, the main part of the design, and that's the frame. So I'm actually using a cushion foam frame here. Okay, so I hope this inspires you to have a go yourselves.
So I hope you've enjoyed my demonstration on how to create a textured cushion. Um, as always, I have some top tips for you. So top tip number one, you can actually ribbon and green up the design in advance. So you could do that two or three days before you need to complete the design. Second top tip, don't over soak the Oasis or the, or the wet foam frame because it becomes, becomes very fragile and very brittle. And then top tip number three, you could actually make it in any colour palette that you wanted to appropriate to that person. All right, I hope you've enjoyed our design. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. Don't forget to share us, like us, and also go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe because there are loads of inspirational tips, hints, and also other designs to complete. So I hope you've enjoyed this second in our Colour Astrology series. Our next third one up is Home Decor, so don't forget to join us for that. Alright, bye for now.